Hello Bampton fans and welcome to this mega Yonex Astrox Group Bampton Racket Review. So which rackets do we have here today? We have got the Yonex Astrox 99 Pro, 88S Play, 88D Play, 99 Game and the 99 Play. Now the 99 Play is made in China, the Pro is made in Japan, the S Play and D Play are both made in China and the S Game is made in does it say let's have a look let's have a look in taiwan um, the specs on these rackets are all similar-ish in terms of the obviously the astrox are head heavy balances but i can't go through each and every one with you because it's just going to take so long so here are the spec sheets manufacturer spec sheets on all of these rackets so the prices and availability we're not going to be selling any of these rackets in the uk getting hold of these some of the s play the d play uh the 99 game some availability in europe but huge availability in oh, asia um, so overhead shots i'm just looking at my sheets here the overhead shots for these rackets and we've got such a big selection of different rackets here but overall we felt that the overall overhead shots for these rackets could have been way easier than it than it was you know we've tested a lot of rackets so we're in a position to say actually when we tested the uh, let me say the mizuno jpx blitz the honor s9 the j nice black panther uh the victor jetspeed st1 the Mizuno 40 is 10 power, the Leaning Aeronaut 9000i, even the Yonex Astrox 88D Pro 4U, it had better overhead power than these do. We felt that it was too much effort to get the shuttle to move on the clears. And I'm looking at the testers score sheets here, not one person's, two testers are testing that and giving independent scores as we're testing on court. And both of them felt that the overhead effort was too much. That means that where we are lazy clearers at Bam Trunk, we do not like putting in lots of effort. We want a clear to be that movement and the shuttle should go. If we're ending up having to go into a sideward stance like we were hitting a smash and then having to really shoulder through, not really interested in that. And then that will mark the racket down. Same with the backhand. The backhand should be a short, sharp action. If it's an overly prolonged action, it's going to lead to accuracy problems and makes the shot too obvious to read as well for your opponent. So again, it marks it down. So overhead, we didn't think they were that great. And that goes to the 99 Pro 2. I know it's a professional racket, but it is what it is. Sorry about that, people. Smash power. There was some variety in the smash powers. The 99 game had a pretty poor smash the 88d play pretty poor smash the 99 pro actually did deliver good in, in the terms of smash and the 99 play also delivered a very respectable smash so the smash power coming down off these rackets varied the 99 pro is the one i'll go with if smash power is in you know a really important aspect to any of you guys Defensively speaking, uh, the one that we thought was really effective was the 88D play. That one was the one that defended really well. We felt the easiest to defend with is this bracket here. And it's just a little bit simpler. Going down the list to give you some idea then, the 99 game, not bad, could be better. The 99 play, not bad, could be better. The 88D play, not bad, could be better. Sorry, the 88D play was very good, my, my bad. And the 88S play, not bad, could be better. The 99 Pro should have been way easier, way, way easier than it was to defend with. So not impressed with that at all. Drive-wise, we found them all very much the same. They are okay in the drive areas. You do get drives off them, but are they the quickest? Are they getting behind the shuttle? Are we getting good repulsion away? No. We're finding ourselves doing a lot of this as we're trying to drive, which means we're leaning back to get to the shuttle. That isn't going to aid control. That isn't going to aid power. That isn't going to aid direction. It doesn't help in that drive area. And again, the 99 Pro, we felt was nowhere near what a professional racket should be driving like. And um, don't forget, the vast majority of people in this world that will be using the 99 Pro I do not play on the international circuit. The vast majority play in clubs like you and us do. That's the majority of where the money comes from for Yonex. 
So it doesn't really matter if you're going to write on the yeah, well, you know, you know, Kevin Sukumulu can do it. It doesn't matter. You don't train like Kevin Sukumulu, nor do I. We're talking about real world stuff here. And the bottom line is we cannot play like Kevin Sukumulu. If we could, we'd be on TV right now. Bottom line is the 99 Pro is not that easy to drive with and does not have the kind of power that we drive. Let's talk about control. Now, all these rackets, particularly the 99 game and the 99 Pro, were actually not bad in that area. Nice level of control from the back. If you're trying to slice in, if you're trying to, you know, just cut across the shuttle, if you're trying to do a straightforward drop, backhand, forehand, even if you're just slightly overstretched, you need that control, they still offered it. And even at the net, they were not bad at all. Repulsion wise, unimpressive. So we're talking about repulsion is, you know, if you're trying to hold and do some short, just a short, sharp action to just try a bit of deception and just flick, you, know, you don't get the repulsion that you're looking for off the shuttle. Uh, and that's very, very irritating. You know, you want, a lot of people that I play with, C play, they want to just do a short, sharp action, you know, short movement, but you want the shuttle to actually fly a little bit and not really that impressive in that area either. So, ease of use, picking up and playing with these rackets, we did not find it that easy. They're not pick up and play rackets, they're not the sort of rackets that you can pick up and just take on court and get used to. You are going to have to allow time for them. They have the Yonex brand on them. The, eight, the 99 Pro is obviously the professional version of all Astrox rackets. I've got, I'm getting used to doing this, I mean it's getting out of control really. Um, what else is there to say? Let's go through this sheet here. I've got so much bloody information here. Right, in terms of feel, the 99 game, medium size sweet spot, medium speed, medium stiffness uh, in the air, and medium in terms of its weight. The same applies to the 99 play. The 88D play, interestingly, larger sweet spot felt by the majority, uh, felt lighter to use, felt more flexible to use, but had medium it felt medium in weight the 88 s play medium across the board and the astrox 99 pro definitely felt like the sweet spot was smaller it felt heavier felt stiffer and it felt medium speed in the air so where does that leave us well i can't recommend any of these rackets i'm afraid to say um, i would say that the 99 pro for a professional grade racket is not bad it's approachable it's doable and if it really matters that you've got the 99 Pro, then yes, you'll be able to use it. It's not completely, you know, unusable. However, for me, from 2021, the pick of the range right now from Yonex is the Astrox 88D Pro for you because it is usable. It control is a bit of a problem with it. It does take a lot of adjustment, the 88D Pro for you, but still it remains the cherry of the range. I would go for that one. If you want something that's not head heavy, then go for the 88S Pro for you. They're the rackets I think that are most usable for club, league, district players. Uh, and I think that even you know intermediate players upwards can get used to them and play with them and get some enjoyment out of them. All of these other rackets, I've honestly, I know the criticism's coming, but it's a complete waste of time. 100% thumbs down from the BAM Track Review team. Do not like them total waste of time too many better rackets out there i told you already you got the victor jet speed st1 way better racket mizuno do the jpx blitz which is a heavy racket but it flexes so you can get the power out uh you've got the mizuno 40 is 10 power used by former world champions top racket really really good to use uh you got the j nice black panthers absolutely brilliant rackets worldwide uses for those rackets have shown really strong feedback um We've got the new Kawasaki Honor S9. We thought it was fantastic. Again, not light, head heavy racket, but usable, approachable, something that people could get actually get on court with and actually use if you like head heavy rackets. What kind of players may like these Yonix Asterox rackets? Well, first of all, you need to be, I must have a Yonix racket kind of guy or player. I get that. Most people we come across are like that. So we get that. So again, can I honestly say to you, go and buy these rackets and you're going to get a lot of fulfillment from it? I just genuinely can't do it. I just genuinely don't think you will. You might do psychologically because you're playing with the Yonex racket. Yes, I'm happy. I have the Yonex racket, but it doesn't mean anything, I'm afraid. Uh, it doesn't mean it's going to transform your game. If it has to be Yonex 
and it has to be professional grade 88d pro for you is where i'd go if you can't handle the, the head heavy slightly stiff shaft 88s but you're going to lose out on the smash power there are the recommendations right now again sincerest apologies for the hardcore yonix fans you can start your typing of all the negative things you're going to have to say i know it's coming i have to say what the feedback is and i'm just saying it so please take it easy with all the negativity that's going to come from these reviews i hope you found the group test uh, informative i thought it was better than just doing one at a time because ultimately the questions that come well how does the play compare to the game and how does the pro compare to the you know so it's just easier to do it in a group test um, ultimately the result is the same all round. it's still going to be a no don't buy it i'm afraid to say don't forget we're giving away the venom 2s april 2022 is the deadline end of that month you just need to sign up to the e-zone if you're already in the e-zone right now you need to get two friends to sign up to the e-zone send us that user information so all three of your user informations to info at bamptonracketreview.co.uk we will automatically enter you into that competition and you will be sent if you win of course if you're a lucky winner you will be sent a, a bros venom 2 racket which scored really well in the e-zone testing and is actually a really nice racket outside of that thank you for the support thank you for all those who donate to us thank you for every one hater every one person that doesn't like us for the 20 that do we really appreciate the support we really are grateful for everything that we're getting from around the world in terms of support if you want to get in touch with the Bampton Ranking Review team WhatsApp is the most efficient way so plus four four seven four oh seven one three four one three two it's been fantastic being on here today I'm sorry to have to say well, I genuinely am I genuinely I'm not against you know I love Yonex I love them uh, they're brilliant they've done so much for the game nothing against the company love the Yonex but they just don't produce user-friendly rackets certainly not at club district level they you know of course there's some big guys out there who can handle the rackets and and feel like they get most out of it but I know majority won't I know the majority won't so that's why this review is what it is again sincerest apologies for upsetting anyone out there not the intention you guys have a great day thanks for tuning in today we'll see you next time around